As we all know, data for us marketers is super important and useful for us when we are trying to take a campaign and make it better, right? Improve that campaign. And a lot of the times the issue is we don't know where to make improvements. Why? Because we don't know where customers are engaging or where they aren't or where customers are engaging first and then converting, right? You want to know really where did they start? Where did they go throughout the middle of the process? And then where did they convert? Today, we're going to talk about Facebook's new attribution tool that it has added to its platform, which allows you to do exactly that. You can track where people are going on their customer journey, and that helps you improve your campaign. So if you wanna learn a little bit more about how to get that set up for your business, stay tuned, we got a really cool one for you. All right, welcome back everybody. My name is Jordan Steen, also known as Serial Entrepreneur. And at this channel, we talk all about social media marketing, starting an agency, building a personal brand online, really just building an online business. So if you're interested in any of those topics, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future updates. So like I said, we're gonna go through Facebook attribution. So on the board behind me, number one, we're gonna start off with attribution and talk a little bit about you know some of the high level stuff, what you need to know before you actually go in and set it up, because unless you really understand how it works, it's not gonna make sense to you. So let's go over to the whiteboard really quickly. We're gonna talk about that and then I'm gonna tell you guys how to get instructions to set up the attribution model tool because it can be kind of confusing, but luckily we've put together a step-by-step -step guide. So I'll tell you guys how to get that. Oh, and PS, make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video where I'll tell you how you can get access to our free Facebook ads training. All right guys, so as you can see behind me, I've written some stuff on the board. Let's just go ahead and walk through this. So again, attribution, it is the process of making sure that you're able to track where people start their journey from what platform they came from, was it paid, was it organic, blah, 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 right? Was it social, search, direct, what was it, right? Where did they come from and where did they get to or what journey did they take, basically, to get to the point of either signing up as a lead, calling in for an appointment, setting up uh, or actually purchasing something online, you know, what was it, what's that conversion value that you're looking for? Not always is it purchases online, right? Because not everyone has an e-commerce store, especially a lot of you, you're working with local businesses, right? They don't sell something online, which means you have to be able to track that, but that's okay, you can too with offline conversion tracking. Um, so that's a whole nother topic. If you guys wanna learn about offline tracking, uh, just say, I wanna learn about offline tracking in the comments below and we'll do that in another video. Um, and so say that specifically, don't just write yes, because like we do, I ask for these requests all the time. So like write specifically what you wanna learn in the comments. All right, so let's go into this. So attribution, there are two, or sorry, three main things that you want to really pay attention to with attribution. There are sources, that's what you're tracking, right? So the source could be, is it Google? Is it Facebook? Is it a direct search? Is it ClickFunnels? Is it from Messenger of some kind, right? Where are they coming from? Now the medium is Facebook calls them channels. I like to refer to it as the medium because it tells whether it is paid versus organic. Did someone come in on an ad or did someone find you organically and click over either to one of your pages or to your website? Now the third one is devices and that's pretty simple. Is it desktop? Is it mobile? Where are they coming from? first or what platform, not platform, but what device are they using to actually consume your content and end up as a lead or as a conversion. So again, if you want to see a, you know, a quick breakdown of what that would look like, it's, you know, it'll show things like people that are coming from Google. Are they paid traffic? Are they clicking on pay-per-click ads that you see at the top of Google search? Or are they organic? Are they coming from, you know, organic search traffic where they're going to Google, they're saying, you know, attorney near me, and then they find your website in the organic search results, right? That would be organic. So where are they coming from on, on Google versus where are they coming from on Facebook? Paid and organic. Messenger, which is Facebook Messenger. You can actually track. Are they coming from Facebook Messenger? Are they paid or were they organic, right? And then direct. Are they searching for you like your website directly? Are they going into the URL bar and typing in the URL to get to that website? That's important to you, right? You can also do things like ClickFunnels, Instagram, YouTube, uh, email. You can do all kinds of stuff, but really with email, they usually don't just jump on an email, right? They probably started from somewhere first. Uh, but essentially what I'm trying to tell you guys is you can track this entire journey from start to finish. That's it. I mean, that's what the importance of an attribution model or an attribu attribution tool is. It is 
simply to tell you where are people really taking the most action? Because this is gonna tell you where you need to put your focus of your ad budget for clients, right? If you're putting, if you have, let's say $1,000, just to keep the math simple, if you have $1,000 to work with, and the attribution model is telling you that 70% of the clicks or traffic that are coming to your site are from paid Google. If that's the case, then you'll want to make sure that you're not putting you know, $500 of that $1,000 into Facebook and Messenger, right? If it's already proven that 70%, and this is before you came in, right? Unless there was already some testing ahead of time. See, that's where you have to make sure you're paying attention. If there wasn't any testing done on Facebook beforehand, you can't necessarily rule that platform out, right? You might wanna do some testing and say, okay, well, let's put $1,000 into this, or you know, out of the $1,000 budget, let's put $300 into that specific, uh, that specific source and see if we get more traffic or a better conversion ratio when, uh, or, you know, when we compare it to Google paid traffic. Right. If Google paid traffic isn't performing as well, then you're going to want to shift your budget. And that's what this model does. It tells you where should I be putting my ad budget? Where should I be spending my organic time at? Should I be creating more blog content, YouTube videos? Should I be doing more to help our, our website rank in search engines just for our service offerings or whatever it may be? Right. That's why this is important. And if you guys aren't using the attribution model, I, I strongly suggest that you start looking into it and understanding the data and the attribution um, of all of your marketing efforts. Basically, where are people going from start to finish? So the attribution model is obviously very important, but to use it, you actually have to have something else in place first, which is the Facebook pixel. If you're not familiar with the pixel, essentially it tracks all of that data going to your site that happens from Facebook and Instagram. If you don't have that set up, you won't get any of the traffic from Facebook or Instagram in your attribution model, right? You have to have that set up. So make sure you get that done. Oh, and if you have no idea what I'm talking about or how to set it up, that's why we put this video together in the top right hand corner, so check that one out. But quick question for you guys, do you think this attribution tool is going to be helpful for you? Do you think you're actually going to be able to use it to get better results and spend less money on ads? If so, do me a favor, leave a comment below, just say yes or no, you know, yes, I'll get better results, I'm gonna use this tool for sure, or no, I don't think I'm gonna use this tool, it won't really be helpful, I have something else that I use to do that. If you have something else, also, please leave that in the comments, I would love to check out that tool um, and see what you're using. So guys, I don't want this video to get you know too long, so I need you to do me a favor. If you want to learn how to set up the Facebook attribution tool, we've put together that step-by-step -step guide. I mentioned that to you in the beginning, but here's what you have to do. Right below this video, there is a link to our blog article in the descriptions. You'll see it titled video and blog, um, but check out that link and we have the full instructions on how to set up the attribution tool on your Facebook business manager. But that's it for me today. I'm actually going to Raleigh here in about an hour and a half, two hours. I'm speaking at another digital summit. This is their big one. I'm going to be speaking there with people like Seth Godden, Brooklyn Decker. I like there are some crazy names that are showing up that I get to go meet. Um, so I, I'm super excited. And if you guys want to see a video or anything about the Digital Summit, we actually have hired a videographer. So if you want to see some of the footage, just also leave a comment below saying you're interested in seeing some of that. But that's it for me, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me on today's video. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get updates to our latest videos, our trainings, our free giveaways that we do every single week here at Serial Entrepreneur. Oh, and again, if you want that free Facebook ads training, it is the link at the very top of the description right below this video. So just go click there and you'll get all you need. But like I said, that's it. If this video helped you out, hit the thumbs up button and let me know. But I will see you guys later. And until then, Serial Entrepreneur out. Bye guys. Ready to start living the six figure work wherever be your own boss lifestyle? Well, at Serial Entrepreneur Academy, we'll teach you how to use a laptop and internet to start your own social media and digital marketing agency. Get started with our free Facebook ads training. Links in the description below guys. See you in the course. Serial Entrepreneur out.